Alright, a bit of a day trip um, out of Darwin. We're heading to a place called Crab Claw Resort. Uh, this is a nice little resort on the beach here. It's about 100 kilometers west of Darwin. We're just gonna, don't really know too much about it really, just gonna go there. I know there's a, a bit of a restaurant there, so uh, yeah, me and Rachel will go for a bit of lunch, a bit of an explore. Um, we're gonna do a few little episodes of just little day trips around Darwin, um, so hopefully you guys can get a bit of a, bit of a feel um, of Darwin and, and what's around there. So yeah, we're gonna head there now, and then we're also gonna continue on to a place called Dundee. Um, once again, we don't really know too much about it. All we know, um, it's a like a beautiful beach, Nice scenic beach, uh, people go camping there and stuff. I think it's actually like a bit of a township there, Rachel, at Dundee. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Bit of a township, so um, just a nice little day out. Uh, so yeah, let's hit the road. Right, here we are it looks um it looks been like barley style huts accommodation and stuff but um took about an hour and 20 minutes to get here there is about uh 15 kilometers of unsealed roads where i reckon you would uh struggle struggle with a two-wheel drive getting in uh a fair bit of water and stuff so um if you're in a wet season definitely uh four-wheel drive recommended um but yeah we'll go have a squeeze there's a helicopter on the beach uh looks really good bit of a restaurant um and a swimming pool beautiful swimming pool so We'll go have a look and have a bit of lunch. That. I thought it was awesome, like an amazing location. The, the pub or the restaurant, the house sits on the ocean there. That is, um, that's so cool. And the meals, oh my god, the meals were just absolutely, <clears throat> absolutely incredible. Rachel got the uh, the red thin salmon. Re thread fin. <laughs> the thread fin salmon. Rachel, I, I've said this before. Rachel knows more about fish species than <laughs> I do. The thread fin salmon. Delicious. The reason, you loved it too. <clears throat> the reason why we got that is because when we were in Weeper in Cape York, a fella caught one, cooked it up for us, um, we shared it, and it was absolutely, absolutely delicious. So and we Ash, got. And the reason why is because Ash, Ash doesn't like salmon normally. I love salmon, but you don't. And I was like, no, you got to try it. You got to try it. And anyway, he tried it, and he he ate most of it out of anyone. He ate. <laughs> so most it was just superb. I got the uh, I got a Palmer, and that was absolutely incredible as well. Such good serves too, like you big know. serves, good old you know traditional style pub meals. I would definitely be given uh, I'll be given the meals probably four point five mug crabs out of five. You reckon? You agree? Yeah, but what's the half a mark not for? Because it could have more gravy. <laughs> I think five out of five. Like the fish was so fresh. You know, the chips were great, the salad was good, I was, I was happy. And, and the views, like you saw oh, the views. Oh, the views, exactly, yeah. So obviously there's um helicopter, helicopter scenic flights you can do there. Also, just as we were leaving, there was a helicopter pub crawl um, you can do here in the NT. So that, that helicopter was, cool. was rocking up on the beach then, just as we were leaving, you can also do Barramundi um, helicopter tours as well. So incredible uh, accommodation you saw the suspended huts where you got to walk through like a little boardwalk through the trees like that's just magic and um you got the little balconies that overlook the water campsites uh were also very good uh lots of lots of shade it's stinking hot here so um you're just covered in shade for the um unpowered campsites uh when it comes to pricing for the campsites rachel you said it was 
Now it's forty-one dollars, but that might just be an Easter weekend thing. Yeah. So just I overheard. I don't know if that was um um powered or unpowered. Yeah. So forty-one bucks, give or take, for a campsite, and we don't really have an idea about the, uh, the cabins, do we? No, I haven't looked it up or anything yeah. like that. But um, yeah, that was that was awesome. So an hour and ten minutes drive from Darwin. If you had a boat too, if you had a oh, boat, oh my god! So it sits on this. Here a week. It sits on this huge creek, but off that creek, you've got just heaps of other creeks that runs off it. So I'm guessing you get all your reef species, fish. You know, you can head out the mouth there, and you get uh, you get reef, and then you've got all these creeks. Um, it's just an absolute fish in wonderland. I, I would imagine um, my crab and all that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, what a spot. Uh, on to Dundee Beach. Yep. So this is what I was talking about, uh, two wheel drive. So four wheel drive is no drama. It's just because it is the uh, the wet season. Or we're right at the arse end of the wet season, but you just got little things like this. Dry season, yeah, dry season you wouldn't have any dramas, I wouldn't think, but uh, yeah, just something to think of if you are flying to Darwin and hire a car, maybe get a four wheel drive. Just driving into Dundee now, and it's like um, we're really we're on the ocean, so it almost like looks tropical. What is this one? Holy moly, we've only just gotten here, but Wow, Dundee, absolutely stunning. The water is just so blue at the moment. You've kind of got like those um, tropical feelings with um, the thick sort of like foresty sort of trees, as well as like the pine, the coconut trees as well. But then you've got like all this red earth and red rock. It's just an absolutely beautiful place. Can't believe how many baby coconuts are in these trees they're just look at them every single one of them is just full of coconut beautiful green baby coconut if i um took the time to have a bit of a gatherer around i uh, definitely think there'll be a uh, coconuts found as always it's stinking hot so no change there just exploring a bit of this uh, coastal edge here. This is where, that's where the pub and the restaurant is. <clears throat> There's a couple of little holiday shacks up here. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got a beach over there. Um, and you can see a whole lot of four wheel drives is parked up there um, for the day. Also there's cliffs over there as well. And people have actually set up camp on the cliffs which is just awesome. Beautiful.
There we go, a little, uh, little pop into Dundee. We've literally only been here for like an hour and a half, so we are definitely know nothing about this town. All we know, it's beautiful. Um, it's got another like pub restaurant, caravan park, um, all your usual bits and pieces. And um, yeah, it's just stunning, beautiful. Beautiful part of, uh, of the coast up here in the Northern Territory. It's good to see some um, coconut trees as well because we do miss tropical North Queensland or just the tropics in general. So it's always good to see a few coconut trees kicking around. Um, yeah, just a, just a beautiful part of Australia, I think. I think, um, I think our day is done. I think it's time to jump in a troopie and head back to Darwin. Uh, we've got about an hour and a half drive uh, in front of us. So beautiful, beautiful little day. We, we kicked off the day pretty late as well. I, I don't think we left till 9, 9.30. It's now four o'clock in the afternoon. So considering we had a bit of a, a late start and we got to go to Crab Claw Resort, also Dundee. Um, it's not a bad day out. So very happy, very satisfied. I'm um, very, very excited to come back here and do a few nights camping or uh you know when family comes up as well we're kind of checking out all these little sites for when my uh, my family rachel's family comes up here so um yeah good good time so very excited for the family to come up and experience everything we have experienced and i hope you guys have got just a little bit of information out of um this episode as well whether whether it be the market checking out a bit of dundee crab claw resort all little beautiful day trips from Darwin, so uh, nice and easy. Uh, and yeah, so we'll leave it at that, guys. Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you do like uh, this type of content, um, helps us out a bit. It's always good to get a bit of support. Helps with the motivation and stuff to create these types of films, but um, I love making them anyway, so uh, yeah, just a, yeah, a bit of feedback would be great. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Um, and yeah, have a good day or night. See you soon. Right, hey guys, something a little bit different. Um, some of you may know that Darwin has lots of markets, big markets, small markets, has markets that run all throughout the year and has markets that open up just for the dry season. The markets are absolutely incredible. They're full of uh, awesome items like all your art, <coughs> clothes, all, all awesome taxidermy like crocodiles and stuff. It's got some wacky stuff. But um, one thing that all these markets have as well is just the most bloody incredible market food you've ever had in your life. Um, <coughs> and me and Rachel, we're just, we're huge foodies. It was, it was quite common for us to, you know, travel two hours for a bloody good dumpling back home in Victoria. And um, one of our favorite foods, it, it's Southeast Asian. And uh, Darwin, it's, it's a very multicultural city and it's got just food from all around the world and it is just sensational, especially at these markets. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, uh, over the next few weeks, going to a few different markets and stuff, doing an episode in between our normal uh, traveling sort of videos, adventure videos. But um, we're going to be taking you guys with us to these markets, we'll be showing you the markets. Um, and also the whole idea is I'm going to be picking out three dishes of food, um, it will be dishes that I normally would pick and it will be dishes out of my comfort zone, things that I wouldn't normally eat. So today it's going to be Parap Market. So um, we have actually showed you guys this market before uh, in a previous video, but um, we just decided to come here again. It's a reasonably small market, but it just packs packs a punch. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a grass little market. So um, yeah, so this video will just be a little bit more detailed within that market. Um, it runs every Saturday, I believe, and I think it's still 2 p.m. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's every Saturday. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look. Talking about a Vietnamese panko? Yeah. yeah. You get that one that's like a steam, or a, yeah, you get the little ones. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's us, yeah. Holy moly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, do you want um, combination? I reckon combination. What's this one? 
It's rice bowl. Oh, rice bowl. Sorry, mate. Rice bowl. Rice bowl made from the uh, rice flour with coconut milk. Is it Cambodian or Vietnamese? Well, it's mixed. Mixed? We, we're from Laos. Oh, we love Laos. Laos is our favourite. Have you been Laos? Yeah, we have. Ben Tian, Bang Vien, Luang so Prabang. We, uh, uh, we originate from Laos. Oh! Bien Tian. Bien Tian. Our favourite food. We love Bien Tian. We were there for about uh, five days. Yeah. And then uh, we... Thank you, hon. And then we drove up to um, Bang Vien. Oh, mate. Was, that was amazing with all the blue lagoons. It was yeah. our last trip before COVID. Yeah. We spent like five weeks there. We were there September 2019. The last time we, we, we went back there is a couple of years before COVID. I got here in uh, 1998. Yeah. Nice and cold river. Like up past um, Luang Prabang? Yes, it gets much better. Oh, villages and... I know. They're commercialized. <laughs> I still love all the barbecues. That is awesome. so wonderful. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Would you want to try some rice wall? Yeah, we'll try some. You sure? Yeah, we'll try some, definitely. I'll give you some try. Hang on. Oh, you're amazing. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep working. I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she sounds like me. You need to talk to a boss lady. <laughs> boss lady, a banker too. Yeah. Financial, um, a secretary of finance, is she? <laughs> oh, Vinny. Vinny, thank you. Vinny. Thank you. Vinny. We'll see you next week, too. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much. You're here. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sweating bullets right now. Yeah, me too. It's the first dish, it's like uh, it's a Cam Cambodian style. Uh, oh, like Laotian fusion. So, um, the people that own that store. We're um, Laotian and they um, we got chatty with them and anyway they they gave us some of the rice balls yeah. as well. How yeah, lucky are we? So it's actually so we'd be kind and, and the world is kind back. <laughs> so these are made out of rice. It's got some spring onion in there. Um, I don't really know too much about them. They just gave gave it to us for free. So I'm gonna grab up all of these. It's like nice. a crispy outer coating and the middle's like all gooey and mushy. A mm. little bit of like prawnage, bit of prawn, seafood flavoring. Like a pancake. Pretty good. <clears throat> They're actually really good. This omelet looks amazing. Good little entree. Good. <laughs> Can I dip? So Rachel's just um, poured this sauce onto the omelette and it's like a bit of a, it's like a satay sauce, isn't it? No, uh, it's like the Vietnamese one with the um, chili. But it's got, like, you can taste the peanut. Mm. Yeah. A little bit fishy, but it's um, dominant, like peanut. I'm trying to get all your... We go, um, you got your egg, you got your cabbage. Bit of mint leaf in there. I think there's a bit of chicken and pork in there. Doused in that sauce. Beautiful. Like a little bit, a bit mushy, but again, the outside is nice and crunchy. It's like a pancake though, isn't it? It's like yeah, an it's going to be pancake. like a pancake. It's like a pancake. Really good. Little fishy rice balls in the sauce. They're just like waterlogged in that sauce. That dish was just um, superb. I give that up. Four and a half potatoes out of five. Cooked up by a Lao family. Um, gave us a little freebie there at the end. So let's go check out our... Uh, let's go get a second dish. I'm thinking barbecue. I'm thinking grill. So let's uh, let's go see what we can find. Fruit and stuff? Because yeah. we don't have any more dragons. I have bananas. Yeah, they're different, aren't they? So these are bananas. <laughs> what the bloody hell? I've never seen them in my life. Yeah. Maybe um. Paw paw. Dragon fruit. Have you seen them before? Let me know. <laughs> bananas. So 
that lady up there if you give it to a good one. Good one. See you next time. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right, second little snack for today. So uh, this is a barbecue bit of uh, beef, bit of onion, capsicum, um, and they're cooked. Uh, they were cooked by Thai people. I actually go to it every week. Every week I go there, I get one of these. Um, it's seasoned, it's marinated beef. I don't know what the seasoning is, but it's a uh, very uh, Chinese five spice. Um, type of style, so it's um, this one's cooked to medium rare. Um, you can get pork ones, chicken ones, all different styles. So, um, let's give it a crack. Absolute perfection, the meat's really tender, the outside's nice and crispy, the onions all smoky. So good. Every week, without a doubt, she actually goes to two different markets as well. So definitely one of the favourites. Yeah, we're checking SBS. Out. SBS. Yeah. Oh, really? Taste of the church. Are you, are you guys the, the Vietnamese? Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. I've been here for a long time, 30 years now, and I'm a, from Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. How are you? Good, hun. Can I get one chicken, masa, and one? Do you want the combination or the lot? Combination. One combination and one special. Uh, do you want chili in yours, sir? Yes, please. Yeah, just in the big tall one. Yes, please. No. That's... Yeah, that one. No, but that is not special. Oh. That's okay. You eat little bit? Yeah. What's up, shallot? Yeah, you... shallot. Yeah. Yeah, put. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shallot. Uh, you ready? A lot of shallot. Coriander. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Send it. Show your friend. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> nom nom nom. <laughs> put them here. Thank, Thank you. you. And I close the lid. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Very excited. Twenty two. Oh, I've got twenty two. How about that? Yeah, you give me that. Give me this. Oh, yours. Oh, good. Oh, oh. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> See you next time. See you next time. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, you doing okay? Yeah. Bye. All right, guys. So uh, for our third dish, we have a we have a laksa, or is it laksa? Laksa. Laksa. Um, this laksa is from Mary's Laksa. Every uh, every time we walk past there, it's just got a it's got a line. Um, the entire she's, time. She's got the trip advisor of travellers of the every every trip for ages. She's had the trip it, advisor. It's a very popular um, travellers um, soup store. So every time we go past it, it's just got like a, It's got like a 20 meter um, line. It's always just chockers. So before we we'll give it a crack, see what the fuss is about. Um, and like she was a character. She was an absolute character. A lot of the people here are characters. So just got a. It's a it's a combination laxa. Um, which means it has a bit of bit of prawn. It's got chicken. It's got pumpkin tofu. as well. Um, tofu, pumpkin, prawns, chicken, beef. A bit of coriander in there. Um, rice noodle. A bit of rice noodle in and there. Have pumpkin in there too. Yeah, they have pumpkin in there. And you've got beef. You got some cabbage and stuff in there. You got your beef. And the story behind the Tupperware is um. Everyone comes here, so hot and sweet. Everyone comes here and they bring Tupperware because they take away. They come here, they buy their dinner, they put it in Tupperware and they take it home. So um, it's kind of what everyone does here. So we've started doing it as well. Uh, yeah, environmental friendly, so it's good. Rachel's going to have her first sip of the broth here. Oh, it's beautiful. Delicious? Yeah. We'll give this up. Broth, a bit of a crack. Beautiful, you can see all the, I think it's like chili. Chili oil. Chili oil. So it's like a curry. Oh, it's like real creamy. Creamy, creamy coconut. Like coconut milk, a bit yeah. spicy, bit on the tongue there. But not, no, it's like the right amount though, isn't it? Just a perfect amount. It's like yeah. a bit of spice, so. And a bit of calamari here. Prawns. 
You got, got a wonton as well. <laughs> There's like a dumpling in there. Side is calamari. <coughs> oh, very soft. Calamari is like gooey. Delicious dish. We'll definitely be getting this one again. Let's go again. Very, very milky, creamy. It does have a bit of bit of punch to it. I don't mind a bit of chili, so. Um, let's go try some of these noodles here. Maybe a bit of beef. I'm excited for my dinner. It's Rachel's one. Look how full it is for ten dollars. Like yeah, these are so big Tupperwares. Ten look bucks. How, ten bucks a soup. Look at this. Look how full that is. Yeah, it's Rachel's dinner for tonight. Ten dollars worth of soup there. So we've got a bit of a uh, rice noodle here. I think uh, yours was twelve because it's got a bit of everything. Yeah, with the combination. So a bit of beef, rice noodle, coriander. The lot. No, no, no. Yours was the lot. The lot. Yeah, laxa with the lot. Let's give this a crack, eh? Yeah. So the noodles have like a bit of a texture. They're quite dense. They're not as soft as I thought, which is good. Um, the beef is tender. It's like it's cooking in the soup still a little bit. So let's give another crack here. Some more noodles, coriander, a bit of lettuce. Superb. Very creamy. And the noodles are cooked to perfection as well. So I give this uh, this laksa four potatoes out of five. Bit of dinner for tonight. So uh, yeah, not bad at all. Anyway guys, might wrap this one up here. We love our food, so we always enjoy coming to these markets. So something different, a bit of fun. All right, there we have it, Prap Market. Um, cracking little market. If you're in Darwin, definitely check it out. Uh, so favorite dish of the day for me would definitely have to be that Lao pancake. Come on. Oh, it's a black, couple of black cockies. Yeah, oh, they're the red, red crested. Yeah. It's our little, little spear of birds. They're all up Cape York and we see heaps of them in Darwin as well. So um, for me personally, favorite dish of the day was the, uh, the, the Lao pancake. It was, um, yeah, that was delicious. It was spot on. And the, the people who uh, made it for us, they were just, they were awesome people the as well. Nicest so. people. Nicest people. Vinny and Air. Vinny and Air. Um, so that's my favorite dish. And Rachel, you agree? Yeah, and it was good reminiscing, like we were talking about, um, you know, just Lao and um, the culture and all of that. So it was really nice, wasn't it? it was really, nice. really friendly people. Yeah, nice reminiscing. And it's always good uh, going to that barbecue, the Thai barbecue there with the beef um, uh, shish kebab. Is it shish kebab? Beef kebab skewer oh, yeah, I had. Those little kebabs, yeah. Um, I get them nearly every time I go to that market. The and meat is very, very fresh on them. Very fresh, very tender. It's covered in and all those seasonings. And the, uh, the laksa for dinner's t uh, tonight's dinner. So we've got our Tupperware containers. Take them home. Bit of grub for tonight. That nice was also easy dinner. nice, easy dinner. It's like 20, 22, 20, you know. 22 bucks, you get like a liter of soup each. So, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so if you do like these little episodes, they're only gonna be short little episodes. Uh, yeah, let us know, like, comment, all that sort of jazz. Uh, yeah, and we'll see you uh, at the next market. So we're just cruising around Darwin in the, uh, in the Troopy, just trying to get a bit, trying to get a bit of aircon to cool down and we're at a place called um east point and have a look at this we just come across this um it's a giant huge bunker huge uh, gun emplacement for world war ii it's pretty pretty gnarly it's pretty crazy to look at the thing is huge um so i'm pretty sure it it held two guns uh where and they were actually the biggest guns in Australia. So, have a look at the size of this thing. Insane. It's like a fortress. Got a few more ruins over here. Uh, over there. A few bits and pieces. You got the ocean here. So we're on a bit of a point, bit of a strategic spot for our defenses. And then you've just got this whopping big giant gun emplacement. 
that's a monster. East Point, crazy.